Hi everybody, it's Dandruff with your news cartridge for Friday, May 6th, 2016. Holy cow, tons of stuff happening today and a great show because of it. We are starting with Oregon Trail. Why? Because it's been inducted along with Sonic the Hedgehog, The Legend of Zelda, and Grand Theft Auto 3 into the video game Hall of Fame. Next, Call of Duty, but not Infinite Warfare, I promise, no Infinite Warfare stuff today. No, this is about Modern Warfare 3. Not only has the game been updated to 1.10, but there is a release date for the upcoming Eclipse DLC for Xbox One and PC, coming in on May 19th. Battleborn's first patch is already being worked on, and a nerf is coming to the marquee. Speaking of changes coming to a game, Heroes of the Storm is going to see some, specifically the matchmaking system. Blizzard says it will be similar to how StarCraft 2 currently works, with different tiers that players will fit into based on their capabilities. In more Blizzard game news, what you see in Overwatch's beta is what's going to be in the final launch, other than the competitive mode, which presumably will be ready on release. Fallout 4's new survival mode has been updated on PS4, and Xbox One. Shadwin, Shadwin will release on September 17th, and I still don't know how to pronounce it. Dead or Alive Extreme 3 will have a free-to-play version for PS4 and PS Vita that releases on May 16th. Well, I guess I got a reason to start my PS4 again. And finally, in some Pokemon news, and yes, I know this is an announcement of an announcement, there will be a reveal of Pokemon Sun and Moon next week on May 10th. And coming soon is a Pokemon cookbook, and I have no idea where to catch a Pokemon to eat it. Coming up next is the Battlefield reveal, followed by the GTX 1080 official teaser, and more great stuff on today's news cartridge. The new Battlefield has been announced, and the leaks have sprung. The name and release date were both discovered before this trailer was shown. It's called Battlefield 1, and will take place in a World War 1 setting, will release on October 21st, but you can get it on April 18th if you pre-order it. Don't pre-order it. This picture was the original leak that revealed the name. The trailer is breathtaking, and clearly in a World War One setting, those land ships were never used in any other war. And I will confirm right here, you will be able to ride horses in the game. To see the full trailer, see the description down below and let me know what you think of Battlefield 1 in the comment section. Leak confirmed! The housing for the GTX 1080 and 1070 were indeed leaked a few weeks ago. NVIDIA has shown us this rendering of what the card will look like, and it's identical to the image showed below it to the left, which was the picture we saw in the past. NVIDIA's stock cooler design has been used since 2013, and it's really nice to see it updated a little bit. The angles are cool, I guess, as long as it doesn't impede performance, which I'm sure it doesn't because functionally it looks the exact same. Maybe Maybe, just maybe, the fan was moved toward the I.O. just a bit, but it's really hard to judge from the pictures. For more on Pascal and the GTX 1080, stay tuned to News Cartridge. The quick spot today focuses on Squad, the developer of my favorite game, Kerbal Space Program. A former media director has gone to 4chan to express his dissatisfaction for working with the company, stating that the average yearly salary was just 2400 US dollars, $200 a month. And yes, it is legal to pay employees that amount. But it doesn't seem right to me. Talk of update launches being rushed and crunch times as long as 16 hours are also included in the article I'm referencing. Let me know in the comment section down below if you think $200 a month for a 40 hour work week is okay, even in Mexico. To end this week, Forza 6 released yesterday, and just like Quantum Break, Windows Universal Platform games do not seem to have a good reputation. It launched with a plethora of bugs, glitches, and shit that just doesn't work right. Let's touch on a couple of the really bad ones. If you've got a laptop with a CPU and integrated graphics, as well as a dedicated graphics card, the game is known to have a significant amount of screen tearing. V-Sync cannot be disabled. Low memory errors are occurring on machines that meet the minimum requirements. Requirements. If you have a Fury X and 16 gigabytes of RAM, you cannot select Ultra on many of the settings. No racing wheels are supported on a racing game. 
multiple displays are not supported and to top it all off some graphics cards may not have supported drivers even if they meet the minimum requirements stay tuned to news cartridge to see if forza can drive its way out of this one and find a link to all the issues as well as known workarounds in the description down below as well as links for sources for all of today's stories you know what time it is it's time for monday's game releases because we're off for the weekend for pc stellaris Dr. Space Zoo, which I want so bad, Shaolin vs. Wu-Tang, Chimera, Destroy All Monster Girls, and Zion. Thank you very much, everybody. This has been News Cartridge. I'm Dandruff. I will see you on Monday. And why is Kirby so low on the Super Smash Bros. tier list? Because he just sucks.